Hey everyone, in this section, let's look at an appreciating currency and a depreciating currency. By appreciating, we mean the currency has gone up in terms of a foreign currency. If I look at the exchange rates here, say initially my exchange rate is $1 is equal to 1 Canadian dollar and the new exchange rate is $1 is equal to 1.5 Canadian dollars. So the dollar can buy more of foreign currency than before. So we can say dollar has appreciated or gone up in value. Now by depreciating currency, we mean the currency can buy less foreign currency. Initial exchange rate, $1 is equal to 1 Canadian dollar. New exchange rate, $1 is equal to 0 0.90 Canadian dollars. Because the dollar can buy less foreign currency, we can say the dollar has gone down in value or depreciated in value. When dollar goes up, Canadian dollar goes down. When dollar goes down, Canadian dollar goes up. So when we are comparing two currency, one currency is always going up and the other currency is always going down. Remember exchange rate is a price. When price goes up, the sellers are better off and buyers are worse off. When price goes down, the buyers are better off and sellers are worse off. Now take a look at this graph here. I have panel A and panel B. On panel A, I have Canadian dollar per US dollar. That means how many Canadian dollars can one US dollar buy? Panel B, we have US dollar per one unit of Canadian dollar. This means how many US dollars can one Canadian dollar buy? These two are mirror images of one another. When US dollar goes up, Canadian dollar goes down. When US dollar goes down, Canadian dollar goes up. Now we are going to look at who benefits and who loses from a stronger dollar. Let's say we are looking at a U.S. exporting farm. Say initially the exchange rate is equal to one dollar is equal to one pound. And we are looking at the exchange rate between U.S. dollar and U.K. pound. So a U.S. exporting farm is earning one pound say the new exchange rate is equal to one dollar is equal to two pound that means the exchange rate went up the dollar has appreciated in value so one dollar is equal to two pounds so one pound is equal to 0 0.5 dollars exporting farm is earning one pound now instead of earning one dollar if the exchange rate was one dollar is equal to one pound the exporting farm is earning 0 0.50 dollars so when the exporting farm is converting the pounds back to US dollar, they are losing money because they are earning fewer US dollars. Okay. Now let's look at the next participant, which is a foreign farm exporting to US. I'm going to use the same old exchange rate and new exchange rate. Say the old exchange rate is one pound is equal to one dollar. 
and the foreign form is earning one dollar now say that dollar has gone up or dollar has appreciated from one dollar is equal to two pounds and pound has depreciated or gone down in value so this is the new exchange rate here one pound is equal to 0 0.5 dollars but the foreign firm is still earning the initial one dollar and when one dollar is converting converted back to pounds they are getting more instead of earning one pound the foreign farm is getting more domestic currency which is two pounds and definitely they are better off so a strong us dollar is hurting the us export industry and makes a foreign exporting export industry better off now look at the next participant which is a us tourist abroad if us dollar goes up they can buy more foreign currency and us tourist is definitely better off a foreign tourist in the us is worse off because they can get less us dollars when they are converting their home currency to dollars a us investor abroad is gonna be worse off same explanation we can have for an us exporting firm the reason the us investor is worse off because when they convert the us dollar they back sorry when they're converting the foreign currency back to us dollar they're earning fewer us dollars we have the same logic as the us exporting firm now a foreign investor in the us is gonna be better off because when they are converting the dollar back to their home currency say the pound they are going to get more domestic currency and we have the same logic as a foreign firm exporting to us so you have questions like this who is better off and who is worse off always think about who is the seller here and who is the buyer here higher price or a higher exchange rate is gonna benefit the seller and hurt the buyer all right that's all with this section thank you very much